we have a sequence and we're being asked if it converges or diverges and if it converges to find the limit. So let's go ahead and prove it using the squeeze theorem, so proof. Make my marker a little bit thinner, it's kind of thick, there we go. So when you're using the squeeze theorem, you start by taking this piece here and you put it right in the middle. And the goal is to squeeze it between two other convergent sequences that converge to the same number. So we can do that pretty easily. Um, recall that the sign of a real number x is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. So we can easily do this. Put a 1 here, like this. And then this would be 1 plus the square root of n. Right? Because you just replace this with 1. Likewise, you can do this. Put a negative 1 here. And then just keep the bottom piece. 1 plus the square root of n. So now we've squeezed it between two other sequences. So now we just have to explain what happens to these two sequences. So let's start with this one here. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 over 1 plus the square root of n. And you see uh, as n grows, this fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So this limit is 0. Now let's go over here and do this one. So we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 1 plus the square root of n. And same thing, as n grows, um, this fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller, so this also approaches 0. So you have the sequence on the left approaching 0. You have the sequence on the right approaching 0. This is trapped in the middle, therefore it must also approach 0. And the reason why is something called the squeeze theorem. So thus, by the squeeze theorem, so it's important to, to cite the theorem, it's also called the pinching theorem, I don't like that name, or, or the sandwich theorem. So thus, by the squeeze theorem, our limit, which is trapped in the middle, so the limit as n approaches infinity of the sine of 2n over 1 plus the square root of n is equal to 0. And that completes the proof. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to you. Uh, good luck.